beautiful people. Bienvenidos a Cartagena, a very busy city and the first Spanish colony in the Americas, I believe. We didn't get to stay in the hotel that we were meant to be staying at last night because there was a little bit of trouble. So we're just heading back there now. Now that's what I'm talking about, a terrace overlooking the whole of the old town. Yes. Even just from up here on our terrace at our hostel, it's very evident that this is more of a European looking city. It's got the colours, it's got that colonial feel to it and it's beautiful but it cannot hide the dark history of Cartagena as a city either as from the mid 16th century all the way through to the 19th century this basically served as the principal port for African slaves entering Spanish South America. Estimated that at least a million came through the port of Cartagena. People came from as far south as Peru and as far north as Costa Rica to the city to get first dibs on the slaves. And there's a whole host of reasons why there can never be an accurate, an accurate number of how many slaves actually passed through Cartagena because someone who was an adult with no disease classed as one full slave but then there could also be three adolescents and they would all class as only one full slave so there's a lot there's a lot of trouble with trying to assess how many people pass through here but it was a huge huge amount and I guess as we walk around the city we'll see well, we'll see and we'll learn a little bit more about this dark side of Cartagena's past. So, yeah, beautiful place it looks like, but definitely, definitely had a tumultuous history. We booked ourselves onto a little walking tour for later today, but until then we've just come to what seems like a very very upmarket mall and it's special because it's been redeveloped it used to be a bullfighting ring and apparently they've redeveloped it really well so you can still see all of the architecture and things so we're going to see if we can get a good vantage point do shows in here as well. Got stands labelled. I think it's called La Serenzuela and it also looks like you can get up here for a bit of a different view so we'll see if we can get up there. pretty city. Definitely one of those places where you just want to walk around all of the streets and get lost a little bit because pretty much every single building is just, ah, oh, it's just this beautiful colonial colourful architecture. Also in the Colombian Caribbean coast, in cities like Barranquilla, Santa Marta, domino is not only a game, it's more like a kind of job. Because people play domino here, but we have money, okay? Here you find these dulces, typical Cartagenianos. The dulces, 
I like the sweet African heritage that we have here in the city for these are called cocadas. Cocadas are with coconut with different tropical fruits like passion fruit, guavas, pineapple, okay? But the most special for us are this one. Have you seen this bowl before? No? That look like popcorns, no? That's. These are called the alegrias. Alegria is with mijo. Mijo is a kind of corn, similar like the popcorn. But the mijo is from Africa and was introduced with the slave here in the city. Mijo, sugar cane juice and coconut. Let's make this, okay? Mijo, sugar cane juice and coconut. Great little walking tour. Enjoy. Really enjoyed it. it was great. A lot of information, but always good to get a bit more of the history of a place when you uh, first arrive, which is good. And it was only about two hours. Sometimes they go on a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, my attention span isn't actually that long, but very good. And now we've just made our way up onto the sea walls, just in time for a beautiful Caribbean sunset. Look at that. No gracias. daydreaming of us coming and staying somewhere like this because it looks very romantic <laughs> and also very expensive. Very. Finishing off the night with a little beer on the terrace of our hostel. Probably one of the most like architecturally beautiful cities that I've been to in a long time I think but I'm gonna finish this one up here thank you so much for watching big love it feels good around here oh yeah nachos let's go with our um, child sized bottles of beer if you're ever in Colombia and need a child sized bottle of beer you know what to get 